I am the Mademoiselle and this is my channel and today we're gonna be doing another reaction video with this one I just gotta tell y'all right now it, it, it's just quite sad we're gonna be reacting to a mom who essentially just found out that her son done stole all her rent money okay and I'm not I'm not gonna give it all away even though I'm sure the title gives it all away but we're just gonna watch okay we're gonna watch and we're gonna hear about what her son done did with his rent money I think these kids are out of control and it's safe to say that we, we just can't make excuses for a lot of these kids anymore. Um, I will say that clearly a lot of the reason that a lot of these kids act the way they do is due to environment, upbringing. Um, a lot of us may say it is due to their parents, but I feel like a lot of these kids, it has nothing to do with their parents. It has a lot to do with a lot of things that we just cannot control, right? I will say I watched like the first maybe 30 seconds of this video and I was just like, oh my goodness. One of you guys sent this to me in my video suggestion box. So thank you guys so very much. If you guys ever want to send a video to me, please send in my video suggestion box or if you want me to see it faster send it in the discord I do have a discord that you guys can join to interact with each other interact with me if you guys want the private discord you guys have to join the patreon yes do have a patreon the cheapest tier just to support is two dollars and if you guys want all the perks it is five dollars we do a monthly catch up where I'm in there telling you guys all my life stuff you guys get early access to things private life updates things like that when I finally drop my song you guys are gonna be able to get the scratch which is gonna be the unreleased version of my song as well as all this other exclusive shit that you guys don't get anywhere else okay i'm telling y'all all the cheese is me okay all the drama all the tea also if you guys want to be creators and things like that make sure you guys join the webinar that i'm having later on this month which is going to be on how to create thumbnails from scratch yes ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be on there live teaching you guys how to create thumbnails on different platforms different apps and things like that so you guys can get more views so make sure you guys head down to the description and or the pinned comment to get more information on that so I have my pizza. Okay, I just did a little photo shoot. I'm hungry. I have a dance class to teach. Yes, I am a dance teacher, guys. I just did a photo shoot because I just secured my second LLC. So yeah, you know, we gotta celebrate the little things in life. So you know, this is my celebration for being on schedule for this week. So I should not be eating pizza, but pizza's my favorite food. So when I do good things in life and I succeed, I celebrate with giving me things that I'm not supposed to fucking have, like pizza. So irritated right now. My son sit up here and literally took $2,000 off my fucking credit card. That's my rent money. That's everything. Every fucking thing. I'm sorry, what did she say? It's crazy. Her son spent her rent money on his girlfriend. I guess this meant to say and bought gifts from Shein and Fashion Nova. How old is this boy? How you gonna steal $2,000 and you go to the cheapest places to buy gifts for your girlfriend? Okay, I know that's not the point. I know that's besides the point. We need to focus on the fact that this boy done stole from his mama. But my thing is, if you gonna steal $2,000, at least do something with it. Invest that shit. Go to something serious. Shein and Fashion Nova. How old is this boy? 13? That's besides the point. I'm focusing on the wrong thing what i feel horrible for this lady she got like legit tears in her eyes like she is like where did i go wrong he gotta go i just put him out he's 16 oh i already done sit there and told him oh i really feel like calling the fucking police that's why i came live so i can calm down I really just feel like calling the police at this moment. You really took some money off my card to go sit up there and do some shit for a, a, a little ass girl? Y'all, I am so mad right now, man. <laughs> All right, all right, I gotta get serious on some real shit. Um, 16, way too damn old. You know, damn well not to steal. Especially if you're gonna steal, don't steal for no bitch. Especially if you're gonna steal, don't steal from your mama. Especially if you're gonna steal, don't go buy some Fashion Nova and some Shein. Are you kids stupid? Get it back out with my fat. There's some things you just don't do. And if you're gonna do it, do it smart. If you're gonna do something stupid, do it smart. I always say, if you're gonna do something wrong, do it right. If you're gonna do something wrong, do it smart. Like, come on now. But at the same time, we have to remember, right? As much as kids do shitty shit, and I know there's gonna be people that are like, oh, y'all always say, get the kid side what about the oh shut up kids don't have a developed mind okay kids are kids kids do shitty shit because kids don't have a developed mind it's up to us to guide them right up to us to tell children when things are wrong and it's up to us to understand that even though we tell them that things are wrong whether we're just friends whether we're just aunts uncles cousins whatever it's up to us to navigate these kids right because they don't know any better it doesn't matter how much you yell at them it doesn't matter how much you scream at them whatever the case may be kids are always going to make mistakes kids are always going to do whatever they want because they're kind of allowed to make mistakes that's why they're kids 
kids. They're not adults at the end of the day. They're not going to have fully developed brains till they're allegedly 25. And even at that, I know a couple 25 year olds that do a lot of stupid shit. Shit, I know a lot of 40 year olds that do a lot of stupid shit, right? I don't know. Comment down below. Do you think kicking out that kid for doing that is too much? Because stealing rent money, that's a lot. I, I don't know. I think that kid would have to go. I don't I don't think I'd leave a kid in my house for stealing rent money. I feel like at that point, the kid's doing too much. I feel like at that point, the kid might have a serious issue that is beyond fixing, that is beyond helping, and the kid might do worse, in my personal opinion. But at the same time, it, it depends on the kid, right? Like, is that the child's first offense? Is that the, the, the child's first time doing some fuck shit like that? Is the mother, sh like, genuinely struggling? Like, and also, like, this is a credit card we're talking about, right? Like, you can easily call the credit card company and be like, reverse all charges that was not me my son stole my credit card like there's a lot of things we can do here so like it, it, there, there's a lot of circumstances that need to be hashed out i feel for her i don't know what to do like i never thought that he'd sit up there and do something like that i never thought that he'd sit up there and do something like that like when I got the notification earlier, I literally, when I sit up there and I got the notification earlier, y'all, the notification was basically saying, like, that I purchased this, but I didn't sit up there and pay attention to it. You feel me? Like, I didn't even worry about it or nothing like that. I, he he got to go. He waiting on his baby to come pick him up right now. He has to go. He got to go. So you're telling me you got a notification saying, did you buy this? Did you buy that? And you ignored it. There's a reason these notifications are set up by your bank. So it's going to be hard to contest. Maybe she, I mean, it's Shein and Fashion Nova. You would know if you bought something from Shein and Fashion Nova. Guys, pay attention to your um bank statements and your transactions. So things like this don't happen to you. Not saying that your kids would sit here and take your card and spend $2,000 on a bead. But I'm saying like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, it, we need context. Like, is this kid inherently a bad child? Like, is this a child that goes out doing goofy shit because if it's not this reaction is extreme but if the kid is already doing goofy shit all the time then this reaction is not extreme he should have been out right so i want you guys to comment down below do you think that this kid has already been exhibiting bad behavior or do you guys think that this is a one and done issues of reacting would you do this to your child like would you kick them out if they stole two thousand dollars from you because to be honest that's a lot of money i probably would I, I think i would too but i i don't think i would because that's a lot like i don't i'm conflicted stealing is a heavy offense <laughs> Like, you don't do that. Like, he got, like, his mouth, he's being hella disrespectful Finally. all of that. So, you gotta go. You have to go. Period. You gotta go. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't have no more money. Like, I called my bank. My bank sit up there and told me I gotta wait until Monday. They froze my account. They completely froze my account. So, can't nobody else use it. But I can't get that. <laughs> He needs to get away from my door. He not getting back in my house. He not getting back in here. I do not care. Get away from my door, little boy. See, you see how disrespectful he is? That's why my dog sitting here barking. He is so, he's being so disrespectful. Since he been talking to this little girl, he's been hella disrespectful. He's been out the chain disrespectful. I'm about to call the Well then, to be quite honest with you, we're not even about to go down the rabbit hole of why putting this on the internet is problematic because every single one of these people that I react to putting their business on the internet is extremely problematic, but that's neither here or there. I don't think she's wrong for kicking him out because for someone to take your last dollar, messed up. For your child to take your last dollar, insanely messed up. I feel like every mother has no problem giving their child any amount of money with their permission. But when you go and you take it, you go and you take $2,000 and that is their rent money. And you don't say nothing about it. You don't try to replace it. You don't even say like, and you take it to go shop with it for your girlfriend. Come on now. That's just messed up. Like that's kind of unforgivable behavior. You know, you don't do stuff like that. Instead of calling the cops, she's trying to give you a chance. She's like, you know what? Instead of calling the police, I'm just going to let you go to your father's house. And now you banging on the door. You're making a scene. You're doing all of that. That's just three much. I genuinely feel like a lot of kids do deserve second chances. A lot of kids don't deserve to like, you know, just be thrown out like that and just kick to the dust. You know, I, I, I get that, but 
but it doesn't sound like this kid is one of those kids. Just from the fact that she was saying, you know, oh, he had an attitude and he been acting up. It's just like, mmm. It don't sound like this the first time he did this. And the fact that she said, oh, I was getting notifications, but, you know, I kind of ain't paying no mind to it. He probably was stealing $20 there, $50 here, $100 there. You just wasn't paying attention to it. So he went for grand lars. Okay, he went for the grand slam. He was like, oh, I'm gonna rob the bank. <laughs> okay? He said, fuck that. I'm taking all the goods. I just, I, mm. Calling the cops, though, I don't know. There's a couple people that I know who stole from their parents. I'm talking about stealing cars, stealing money, stealing possessions, and their parents legit called the cops on them. I had one friend I told you guys a couple times. We went out. She decided to steal clothes from a store and the cops picked her up and they gave her mother the opportunity to take her home. They was like, nah, take her ass to jail. Some parents believe that, hey, you just gonna have to learn the hard way. And I don't think that's a bad idea if your kid is inherently bad. Um, But some people feel like, you know, so that you don't become a bad egg, so that you don't turn out the worst way possible, you're gonna get taught this lesson now before before it's too late so let me know what do you think do you think that kids should be taught certain lessons before it becomes too late or do you think that certain kids should be cut some slack i think it really depends on the child because i feel like fucking around and treating a kid like they ain't shit before they even become a shit could be a bad idea but who knows who knows comment down below y'all i'd love to know what you guys think that's messed up i hope that little girl is worth it and i hope they still together because now you just got kicked out your mama house because you wanted to be trifling basura with that being said make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time bye